Hi darlings, I hope you're all okay. Keeping safe, keeping well, behaving yourselves. I'm not. Anyway, <laughs> I thought we'd have a little chat tonight about some trouble that was on Twitter the other night. It was all happening again, it was, I tell you. Oh, they'll never learn. I don't know if you know him. His name is Manny MUA. He's a makeup guru, very successful. He's had arguments with Jeffrey, and it's all a to do. If you look on YouTube, you'll see it all. There's probably thousands of videos all about it, all that went on. And it was also one of the Fab Four, James Charles, at it again, not learning his lesson. Anyway, the pair of them, right, took it upon themselves upon hearing that Alicia Keys was bringing out a beauty line to go onto Twitter and have a little bit of a paddy. And they basically uh, said that celebrities shouldn't be dipping their toes on their turf. Um, they shouldn't be doing these um, makeup lines. They should stick in their own lane, inferring that basically it's a cash grab and they don't care about makeup and they should leave it to the experts. Now, they didn't mention Alicia Keys' name. Of course they didn't. Cowards, that's why. You see, when I come for somebody, I come head on. I look them in the eye. Not like these two, going round behind the back like a Jekyll. Anyway, of course, people are like, oh, what wonder who they're on about? Didn't take long to find out. It's about this woman, you know. Now, Alicia Keys is a very famous singer, songwriter, musician. Very talented. And by all accounts, a really nice lady. I mean, I can never remember any scandal or any trouble with her. She's just a really nice talented, wonderful person, you know, and she's decided to have a go at beauty. Well, why not? Not according to these two, no. You're not allowed to diversify. Well, anyway, they've upset a lot of people. But, as we talked about the other video, karma. She came very quickly, the universe, God, whatever, and balanced it all out because it was announced that actually it wasn't going to be makeup, it was beauty. That's what Alicia was coming out with, beauty. She wasn't going to be treading on their little fragile egos. She was doing something completely different. Well, of course, they had to come out with grovelling apologies. Cringeworthy apologies, actually. I mean... To be, I don't know about you lot, but I'm getting a little bit sick, really. I'm getting a little bit sick of these songs because they're meaningless. Because they've said them so many times. I mean, how many times have they said, sorry for this, sorry for that? The word's meaningless. They've worn it out. They've said more sorries than King Sorry of Sorryland. So I've got a little bit of advice for these two. And it goes like this. Very simple. You don't need a PhD or anything. It's very simple. What you do is you get up every morning and you try and be the best person that you can be. If you can't say anything nice, you don't say anything at all. You have integrity, manners and respect. And if you go through life behaving like that, then you'll never do anything to have to say sorry for and you'll find that your life has a lot less drama and trauma and upset in it. You know, for two people that are so happy in their lives, we, have, according to them on their Twitter and their Instagram and on their YouTube channels, they're so happy, everything's great. How is it then that you've got the time and energy for all this bitching, all this nastiness? There was no need for that. Now, I'm sure that Alicia Keys got better things to worry about than these two silly pillocks. But she's still a human being, isn't she? She's, just because she's a celebrity, you could have hurt her feelings. 
What about her family and friends who support her and want her to do well? And you've got to put the mockers on it. It's pathetic. You need to stop, guys. You really need to stop. And just before I went to bed last night, well, it was more like early this morning because it was nearly four before I went to bed. I was watching a, a YouTuber that I love. Name's Petty Page. If you want any ideas for videos to go and watch, go and watch Petty Page. She's ever so good. She's a really nice lady. And she's very good at explaining all these dramas and intrigues and stuff. And she looks at it from all different angles. She's she's really good. She really is. And she always gives a timeline. And um, if I'm a bit confused with what's going on, because I thought to myself, who are they on about? You see, I didn't get who it was at first. I went and watched her YouTube channel. And she explained it all beautifully as normal. And what she did say was, apparently Alicia Keys had said some time ago that um, she was no longer going to bother with makeup. She, it's not the jam in her dome, not basically. She didn't want to bother with it. She doesn't feel the need for it. She's going to just look the way she does naturally, which is fine. You know, that's, you do you, Bab, you know. I can't do that. I mean, I don't like makeup. I don't like wearing makeup. I admire it from afar and people who can do it. And I love to watch makeup tu tutorials, but on myself, I hate wearing it. But I have to, because if I don't, well, I look like I've been dug up, but there you go. But um, I'm wondering now, like Petty Page says, I wonder if that was what got their knickers in a twist, you know. What's she doing makeup for? She don't even like it. That sort of thing. It's a bit ever so childish, isn't it? Isn't it childish? This is two grown men, this is. The CEOs of these great big companies, multi-millionaires. God, it don't bode well, does it really, Bab? But anyway, all that rambly rambly is getting to why I wanted to make this video. Because Petty Page set me off thinking. I was thinking, because she was talking as well about um, makeup brands that are owned and run by people of colour. And she was saying as well about the, about the Twitter situation that when other celebrities, white celebrities, bring out makeup and things like that, nothing's said about them. Everybody's whoopie doing and having a party and oh, I can't wait to see it. So what's the difference with Alicia Keys? I'll leave it with you to work out. But I got it first first time round. But anyway, Paige started me off thinking, you see. So I thought to myself, well, I don't know much about these companies that are um, run and owned by people of colour. I've never been on them before because I play it very safe. I know what I like and I stick to it. I've been wearing the same mascara for God knows how many years, you know. I buy number seven stuff, you know. From boots, I'm very boring. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee, did you cough? Let me have a quick cup of tea. I'm very boring with makeup. I stick to number seven. It's what I've been wearing for years. It's what I know. So I don't really go looking that much. I see stuff on YouTube, of course I do, because I love to watch all the tutorials. But I don't investigate it, that's what I mean. So I thought, I'm going to have a look at some of these companies that Petty had mentioned in her YouTube channel. So I went into the Googlies, and I asked to see like a list of makeup companies that are black-owned and run. run. Great big list come up. Makeup companies I've never heard of. You know, I was really surprised on how many there were. And uh, I thought, right, I'm going to look at all these companies' websites. And I decided to look at Foundation because I knew that for most people, that's the big bugbear, isn't it? Getting your foundation right. Because if you get your canvas right, your face looks all right. But if your colour's off, looks awful doesn't it and I think most people I know I definitely do that's why I wear mineral foundation because it works with the colour of your skin because I'm not not very good at matching up things I'm, I'm a bit crap really 
Um, so I thought I'll look at foundation and I'm going to have a look at the shade range. Now I've heard of um, Brianna and I know that she made a splash with her makeup, didn't she? She had loads and loads of colours on her range and she was really applauded for it. And that's what started the conversation, didn't it? About mainstream makeup companies not providing variants in their shade range. So I knew that she did loads, but I wanted to find out about the others. And do you know what I found? It was really interesting. A couple of the companies, they were more geared to people of colour. And I got that because, of course, you see, they're trying to fill the void from the mainstream. So I understood that. So they were more geared to people of colour. But the vast, and there were only a couple of them, but the vast majority of these companies that are owned and run by people of colour, they were more inclusive than some of these mainstream companies. I couldn't believe it. I tapped on the foundation, they did um, cream to powder, they did the sticks, they did the traditional liquid, you know, that um, most people use. And I looked at the shade range and I was gobsmacked. They catered for everybody. They really did. Go and Google it yourself and have a look. From the lightest of light to the darkest of dark. And everybody in between. I was really shocked that smaller companies like that could provide that service. And it really posed the question, why can't the main companies do it? Now, I'm 46 and you can imagine how many women that I've had conversations with over the years. Family, friends, work colleagues, people I meet out and about, you know. And when we talk about makeup, majority of the women that I've spoken to over the years have said about shades and getting them right and matching it all up and how difficult and bamboozling it all is. But I've got to say, in particular, the girls of colour that I've spoke to about this particular subject they've always said how particularly hard it is for them and many of them used to say to me you know Lou, I use three and four and I just mix them together on a little saucer it's mix and match every time I do it and I used to think to myself well why don't people make it for them because you're missing out on money I mean is it me? It, it, it's not me, is it? Am I going daft? But isn't the point of having a makeup company to sell makeup? Because that's how you get bigger and, you know, earn more and can take on more staff and grow your company. Why are all these mainstream companies missing out on hundreds and thousands, possibly millions and millions of pounds every year? It's, it's daft, isn't it? But the irony, guys, the irony that these smaller companies that are owned and run by people of colour, they're more inclusive. They're the ones who are being fair. They're the ones who have integrity. And you know how important that is to me. And it made me realise, you know, that these smaller companies, these... Um, companies that are owned by people of colour, they need supporting. So you know what I've decided to do? In future, and I've got the list, I've written it down on a pad over there. I, In future, I'm going to try and buy my makeup from these companies. My mascara, I think I've got a couple of weeks left on it. I'm going to buy a mascara from one of them companies. Because I want to buy from people who have integrity and who do the right thing and who are fair. I don't want to buy from people who are not fair. Not anymore. Because my eyes has been open to it. Because it's one thing to hear it off your friends and your work colleagues. But then you see it. It's just it's just the irony of it. It gobsmacked me. The fact that they included people that excluded them. 
that's something to think about isn't it and it's something to admire and I'll tell you what else I'm doing as well when Alicia Keys brings out her brand I mean I know that you know that I'm under the threat of redundancy at the moment and I don't know what's happening with work and everything but if I can afford it when that gal brings out her brand her uh, beauty skincare products I'm gonna buy some I'm gonna try and buy at least one item to show that lady some support because those two lads were nasty nasty there was no need for it there was there was no need it was cruel and I don't like that I've never bought anything from James Charles or Manny MUA and I shan't ever now I know what sort of people they are but I'd encourage you all all of you no matter what skin tone you've got go on Google and tap in black owned makeup brands and you go and have a look and see what those, those websites have got on them fantastic products really nice things because that's where I'm going to go from now on to people who are fair and decent and I hope you will too listen I better go because I've been gabbing oh god at the clock now oh god it's getting a bit late um, I'll leave it with you now guys please do me a favour let me know what you think let, you, let me know if I'm barking up the wrong tree because I don't know because I've never heard this that particular point made before it, it's making me nervous whether or not I am barking up the wrong tree so so leave me a comment will you let me know I'll see you later God bless you all keep safe and I'll see you later. Bye.